People are rushing to take off their masks right now, but others still want to keep it on. Of course, a lot of people do. The question now is how effective are the masks if you are the only person who's actually wearing it? CBS 17's Maggie Newland, Newland joins us now getting some answers about that. I know a lot of people had that question. I was in Publix, Maggie, saw a guy without a mask, and I had mine on, and I thought the very same thing. Yeah, I think you're going to see a lot of that pretty soon. Early in the pandemic, of course, we heard a lot about the importance of wearing masks to protect other people. But what if others aren't wearing them? How do we gauge our risk or our children's? I asked those questions to two local experts who have studied masking throughout the pandemic. Masks serve at least three distinct purposes. Health experts say masks can prevent people from breathing germs into the air, inhaling germs, and touching their noses and mouths. When everyone wears one, they say it can reduce the amount of virus in the air. You're cutting it down a lot, so you don't need things that are quite as protective. But when masks are optional, you need a better mask. Dr. Brian Ormond, who studies masking at NC State, says the N95 should keep you safe if it fits well. That's that's how respiratory protection is designed to work. You know, you wear something to protect yourself regardless of what's going on around you. But N95s are only designed for adults. In the U.S., we do not have any respiratory protection devices that are designed, tested, or certified for children's use. Still, if you're concerned about COVID, it certainly is safer to have that your child in a mask. If your children will continue wearing masks in school, Dr. Emily Sickbert Bennett, Director of Infection Prevention at UNC Medical Center, says fit is critical. Make sure that it's fitting them as as well as it can and keeping in mind the trade-off of making sure that it doesn't fit them so tightly that it's uncomfortable and they'd be apt to take it off. When gauging your risk, experts say look at the rates of COVID in your community, where you'll be and how long you'll spend there. The places where the risk is higher would be in tight indoor spaces with a lot of people where you're spending an extended period of time. And even if you choose not to wear a mask all the time, many doctors are really asking people to please wear a mask around others if you are not feeling well, even if you just have mild symptoms. Rod? Good advice. All right, Maggie, thank you.